Hey guys! Um, today we are gonna be talking about punk. I just wanna do a quick um, clean up thing. So, um, I'm going to start posting more and more and being better about that. I just had finals last week, so I, the last two weeks I wasn't able to post because I was studying. Um, but anyways, on to the punk. So, being punk is something that I think I've always been because my definition of punk, and I think a lot of people's definitions of punk, is being counterculture. That's where punk originated. Um, I just, I've been getting more and more into the history of punk. Um, I'm still looking for like books and stuff. Uh, if you have any of those good books about punk, please leave it in the comments below. Um, but I just watched the movie CBGB, which is with Rupert Grit, uh, Severus Snape from Harry Potter, I don't know, Alan Rickman, um, and a bunch of other really cool people about the, like, first real punk club, um, in, like, the late 70s, I'm gonna say, maybe early 70s, I don't know, but it's, like, where Blondie started, the Talking Heads, the Police, Dead Boys, all those awesome bands that we all love and adore, um, where they started. And so recently, in the last couple of years, uh, the last year especially, I've seen a lot of people in the punk and sub subgroups of punk community saying that different bands or groups who don't even necessarily say that they're punk, but who people say that might say that they're punk, um, a lot of punk people are saying, oh, they're not punk because they don't fall into the, this, this, and this. But the truth of the matter, punk is just a reaction um, to the kind of oppressive, relatively oppressive nature of the older generation. Because we do see that a lot today, and I just did a project in English about this, about how, um, this generation is called the me generation, but every generation has ca been called the same. So, it's really kind of a moot point, and that, um, a lot of people are like, oh, this band can't be punk because they're mainstream. But punk is just being rebellious, being different from mainstream things. Just because this one band happens to be mainstream doesn't make them any less punk. They just found the right market that's very supportive um, and were able to cross over. And I mean, we don't see people saying Green Day's any less punk because most people know who they are. They're still punk. And I think the truth of the matter is anything that's not this whole, um, really, like, really insanely popular, um, and, like, really just mainstream, not, like, one band's mainstream, but anyone that really identifies as punk or is rebellious against different people and against the, like, kind of man and that kind of societal norms and societal pressures is punk. There are so many different subsets of punk, um, and I'll go through them. Uh, at the end of the video, but I think that as a community, we need to really realize that our community, especially, there's even queer queer core, which is a uh, uh, is a subset of punk, which expresses gender identity and sexuality as just very open and fluid, and it's awesome, and I find that amazing. But I think most people who go against the norm of society, goes against the whole thing with like Drake or like Nicki Minaj or even them. In some aspects they are punk because they are challenging our ideas, maybe not less so Drake but more of Nicki Minaj, um, going against what society says is okay for certain groups and I think that's amazing. I think most people have at least a little bit of punk in them, if not more. Um, so that's kind of my feel on punk, and I feel like more people need to be open to punk. And the truth of the matter is everyone is just trying to be themselves. And if you say someone's not punk and you're a punk, you are no longer a punk. Because the whole point of being punk is you're going against the norms and you don't tell other people what they are and what you're going to do. So if you say someone's not punk, you are no longer a punk. So that's my idea. And... I will go through each of the punks right now. So I'm going to yeah. go through a few of just the basic punks. 
because most things are punk. The stuff that I'm wearing is kind of just like alt, like rock, that type of thing, which falls under punk. And onto the. Whether you're hardcore punk. Or skater punk. Or glam punk. Queer core. Or somewhere in between. The truth of the matter, we need to love and accept each other and be supportive. And be punk. Quick thanks to Ryan Casada who provided the music, my fellow punk. And you guys stay safe. I love you. Bye. Ah, oh, I want to shut up.